my fellow Americans, it has come to me of an immediate threat underway exactly one week from now. And that is not our foreign adversaries that we surround with millions of military bases already, nor it is a reckless presidential administration or rabble-rousing Republicans. No, I am talking about the A-Push exam. Exactly one week from now, all high school students, probably young or probably a little older, will take the AP U.S. History exam. And let me tell you my personal background on it. I took last year the A-Push exam, and I survived and escaped the throes of what I called the Claybone Orientated Society, which focused technically more on extra material rather than the white orientated A-Push exam. And I was the only one, and it may or may not be due to the fact that my history teacher was also my advisor, but I was the only one of my entire class who got a qualifying score on the A-Push exam. And I guess it is my duty, my God-fulfilled duty, to finally educate people and teach people the ways of how to survive the A-Push exam. The first tip is to always, every day, starting now, and you might have done it already multiple times without even realizing it, and good for you, is to read an introductory article every day, only one, and you firmly grasp it, you read one introductory article of a U.S. history related Wikipedia page. It could be about Andrew Jackson or about the Gilded Age. Just one introductory paragraph of a Wikipedia article related to U.S. history. It will save you tons of time trying to instead otherwise remember or trying to firmly grasp what you have learned over the past six months of learning. My second tip is to not, in fact, think of anything Western Frontier related or about the 1849 gold rush. And that is only for the SAQ section. And that is for no particular reason at all. I, I, I was just, uh, just wanted to add it because I just think that people should be afraid, excited, and surprised when they get into that short answer question response. My third is that if you, if you had a 100% score on your U.S. Constitution test, or, and, or, your own state Constitution test, you got perfect scores on all of them, I know that you will at least get two multiple choice questions right. My fourth is that on the LEQ, if you really want to pass with fi flying colors, you have to become victimized and oppressed by society on all sides. Act like a lime fruit being cut into pieces. Chop, 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 chop. Imagine you are like that. Your body and mind, physical and mental, being spiritually cut by all the evils that be in our society. And then they squeeze you. And what comes out of it is the fruit that you use in your details on your LAQ response. Because at least, if you fail, you fail with flavor. And my final, my final overwhelming tip is, is to, hold on, I forgot. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. My final tip is remember 
that nothing matters. And that life and history will implode on itself. More so history will implode on itself. When the last cognitive, self-aware human dies. Doesn't matter about the universe, doesn't matter about anything. That doesn't matter, also. But it won't matter. And whether you are filling out the bubbles at the start of the exam to, to register yourself, or you're taking the exam seriously, or you're finally finishing up and you're cleaning up the tables and the paperwork, remember that nihilism counts. And so thank you. Those are my five tips. My five tips on how to ace this incoming threat to our national educational security. I will see you soon. Thank you.